today we're going to grab some caustic soda, two mason jars, and some burrs with some aluminium welded to them. Because I want to clean them up. Now, two tablespoons is enough for a litre, so I don't really need much at all. Soda, also useful for making soap, so if you're having difficulty finding it. It's exothermic when it mixes. And I'm trying to avoid having liquid in the brazing. Chances I could get you to use a drop sheet instead of putting the thing that you just put plastic on back in my bench tops. It's a possibility for sure. Okay, they're now bubbling away, which will soon have all the aluminium cleaned off my bears. And that little baby one down there as well. Dave used to do is use like a hard soap, like velvet soap, and load his bear up with soap so it wouldn't weld up like this. Um, but yeah, I tried some other soap and I uh, didn't make the right choice. and caustic baths that are aluminium. Typically in an engine rebuild shop they'll have a caustic bath and if you leave anything aluminium in there it's gone by the time you pick it out again. Which can be one of those oops mistakes that you find out too late. Also things like cam bearings in the engine blocks and stuff we usually pull the cam bearings out before we put them in the soak. That's coming up real clean, real quick. That's crazy. Love me some chemistry. Seems to be doing a bit of work cleaning the rust off as well. Wasn't really my thoughts. Oh. Why not? Give me a bit of a de rust at the same time. This one's going a million miles an hour, it's great. Oh, yeah. 
keeps it close to the Sharp again. It's really impressive. Huh, there you go.